Right now at six, the pain at the pump sneaking back up on drivers. We're already seeing it creeping in. So it's pay attention and you're going to see those few cents per gallon. A noticeable jump already on the national, state and local levels in just one day. And now this. A major move today by some of the world's most powerful oil producers. OPEC and non-OPEC allies have agreed to significantly cut oil production. Production cuts that will start in November, but experts say we'll see the impact at the pump even sooner. OPEC says it will slash oil production by 2 million barrels per day. Deep output cuts designed to spur a recovery in oil prices. And it's a move that threatens to push gas prices higher. KPRC 2's Real One Belogan live in Fort Bend County. And Real One, you're getting answers for drivers tonight. Yeah, we are, and, and experts say they had an idea something like this was going to happen, which is why many of you may have noticed gas prices going up in the last few days, and, and those specialists say expect it to continue the remainder of this year. Again, it, it's going to start going up soon. <laughs> no, I can't. That's crazy. We may see a repeat from this spring as gas prices expected to climb. And I wouldn't be surprised if you see it go from 299 to 319 in the next week. Dietrich von Biedenfeld, an assistant professor at U of H downtown, says we'll have to spend more at the pump because of the Saudi Arabia-led OPEC Plus decision to cut oil production by 2 million barrels per day starting in November. Von Biedenfeld said he doesn't expect to see a spike in oil prices. We're probably going to see some of these prices move back up uh, past that $100 a barrel range consistently, at least from November through the rest of the year. The Biden administration tapping into Strategic Petroleum Reserve to offset previous high prices. Now Von Biedenfeld said they'll need to replenish it. A lack of existing production uh, increases, right? You, you've got to have that pipeline of increases that we don't have. We don't have the Keystone XL, right? We don't have a number of these things that could have positioned us to have more energy independence or energy security. The current average for regular gas in the Houston area, a little above $3, lower than the state's and national averages. Small business owner Alex Contreras said if prices do reach summer highs, it'll mess up his mechanic business. I have to pay more and everything. And I have a worker, and my worker say, hey, everything going expensive, so you have to pay me more. Now, the White House released a statement which reads in parts, quote, the president is disappointed by the short-sighted decision by OPEC Plus to cut production quotas while the global economy is dealing with the continued negative impact of Putin's invasion of Ukraine. Live in Stafford, Roban Belogan, KPRC, 2 News. Roban, thank you.